So Miss Corcoran taught uh, the third grade to all be, show me that you're ready. Just a little clamshell. And if by chance I throw it so that you miss it, you can throw it back to me and I will throw it back. But you all are wonderful catchers over here. It's very nice. All right, so these are some beanbag verses. that go with uh, the take time exercises. That's the first one. Right hands. Cross, patch, draw the latch. Sit by the fire and spin. Take a cup and drink it up. Then let your neighbors in. Two squirrels did run around the tree. They chased their tails most merrily. Round and round the tree they ran. The scur squirrels scurried swift and then they chased until they were a blur. Whose tail was whose they were not sure. The butterfly flew on the rainbow after the weather cleared, but he could not decipher which color he preferred. Should he race along the red or drift along the blue? Should he charge along the orange or walk the purple hue? Should he dance the yellow sheen or drift among the pleasant green? No, he said, I love them all. I'll arc each till darkness falls. So this you want to have by your head here and your um, left hand down here, kind of by the small of your back. Down the waterfall, down from furthest heights, down over slippery stone, down with watery might, dash on down the stone, splash the water's foam, crash the water's home, flash the water's gone. This one's my personal favorite. Everyone has their bean bag in their right hand. Under and over the gnomes and the clover, their roots are entwining and vining below. Under and over, they slide in the clutter of water and compost and pebbles and mold. Under and over and deeper and bolder, the earth grows drier and dark. Under and over, Give way to the plunder as the gnomes head straight for their mark. And of course, all my kids think the gnomes head straight for the mark. <laughs> <laughs> so then um, a nice way to get to have order for them to put, um, there's several ways you can get the bean bags back into the basket. But one way I really like to do it, join me. Put it on your foot. And I'll wait till everyone's quiet. And I will start. And then Natalie may go and we will go around the circle. And if your bean bag does not make it into the basket, you may wait till we're all finished to get it. Okay? But make sure you see who's in, who's in front of you. Very nice third grade, third grade. Okay. Yeah. Thirst grade. <laughs> yeah, so. so those are fun. And this is um, third grade after you've done some uh, uh, a bunch of take time exercises already in the first two grades. 
And it starts out with, uh, and many of you will already know this one because I've done this one before several times. North. Mm. Now, when you drop it, you're going to try and bring your right hand down and catch it instead of your left. So you start out with your right. North. South. East. And west. And now it's in your left hand. North loves the air the best. It blows and whirls without tire all winter long till warm by the fire of the east with its rising sun brings light and warmth on everyone. Now again, it's going to be dropping it and trying to get our right hand down there first. Then in the south, light springs forth all with the power of the earth, only to fade in the waters of the west, where life washes away in darkness and in death. But the winds will blow and the fires will burn. The earth will grow and the waters return. So let's do that one more time. Right hand. North, south, east, and west. North loves the air the best. It blows and whirls without tire all winter long till warm by the fire of the east with its rising sun brings light and warmth on everyone. Then in the south, life springs forth all with the power of the earth, only to fade in the waters of the west, where life washes away in darkness and death. But the winds will blow, and the fires will burn. The earth will grow, and the waters return. And so that's inspired by the Native American medicine wheel. And that idea of the um, four colors in the cycle of life. <laughs>